Hi, oh, yeah, it's Jackie here from the LGFA uh, on a Friday morning, and we're joined uh, by our two Zucar uh, award winners from during the week, the Golden Boot and the Golden Glove. We we're delighted to hand them out to two leash players, and they're on a call with me this morning. On the top left-hand side of my screen is Mo Nerney, winner of the Golden Boot, and on the bottom of my screen is Emer Barry, winner of the Golden Glove for goalkeeping excellence. Ladies, how are we doing? Good, not too bad. Thanks, Jackie. Good. Yeah, how are you, Emer? Not too bad. Thanks. Good, good, good. So come here to me. Uh, you were up in Crow Park during the week, Emer. How did you find that? Collecting the award, having a bit of having a bit of grub, having the family there with you. Nice, nice day yeah. out. Yeah, it was a lovely experience, I suppose. Um, it was just a little bonus to cap off a great year. Um, and it was nice to get back up to Crow Park again and kind of relive some of the memories that we had in July. We were up in the stand, um, getting the shots done and as you say it would have brought back some memories from the 31st of July and and that great day against Wexford I'm sure. Yeah I suppose kind of for me it kind of brought back the last kick out I was just <laughs> worried about that one and I kind of relive in that moment and uh, thank God uh, uh, Anna Healy met her on and it just kind of landed in her hands because it was just at a pivotal kind of time in the game and we just needed to retain possession so anytime I see Crow Park that's what I think of anyway. Brilliant. And Eamor, the save itself that won you the Golden Glove Award was from Ashley Murphy, who had a phenomenal season for Wexford, um, was scoring for fun. It was a crucial time in the second half uh, and you kept it out at the at the canal end. When you look back at it now, how crucial was that save in the overall scheme of the game? Yeah, I suppose maybe it was at an important point of the game. Wexford kind of putting pressure on us and... Um, you know, maybe if that goal had went in, it would have given given them more time to to crawl back the the lead that we had um, built up in the first half. So probably was important, but like you know, there's loads of different things that kind of change momentums in games. But it was one of a small thing. You know, Ashley Murphy, as he said, had done, had a great year. Like, but Ashling uh, Quigley had done a really good job on her and keeping her quiet in the final. You know, as Ashling has done for us all year. So. Yeah, it was important, but just as important as maybe Mo's goal is in the first half and Ashling's role on Ashley Murphy that day. Uh, talking about scoring for fun, Mo, uh, five thirty-one, I think it was across the across the championship. Uh, obviously, it's all about the collective when it comes to a team sport, Mo. But a collective is made up of a series of individuals, and your own individual displays, you must have been very pleased with. Yeah, look, it. I was obviously delighted with how the year went overall myself and then with the team as well. Um, yeah, it was a great year, like, you know what I mean? And I suppose maybe with some of the scores, you're in the right place at the right time for them. But um, yeah, look, it was it was brilliant. And look at the main thing as I always, as we were saying all year to get that Mary Queen Cup and get Leash Ladies back up to senior, that was our plan all year. And, you know, we did that. And we're back now where we want to be competing. I'm all uh, back in 2001, um, you were mascot, right? Yeah, <laughs> back 21 years ago, yeah. So I was only seven years of age then. But, and like, you know, I remember so much of that day and it's mad. And I remember thinking, one thing that really stood out with that 2001 team was their bond, like their togetherness. They're like one big family. And I feel we've really got that back now with Leash Ladies the past couple of years under Doni and under our management. So, you know, that was one thing that really stood out to me, even from such a small age. But um, yeah, there's so many parts of that day that I remember as well. And even for the people of Leash, you know, it has been 21 years for the ladies to be back in and all learn it. So um, it's it was great. It was just it was a great summer all around. So when the full time whistle went at Crow Park, Mo, was it a really emotional feeling when you know you, you've you've obviously bridged that gap back to 2001, the last time that Leash won in all Ireland at Crow Park. You you were a mascot then. You remember the starting team now. What were, what were the feelings like then when the full-time whistle goes and, and as you say, you've got the, the Mary Quinn Memorial Cup and you're bringing it home? Yeah, it was nearly a feeling of relief, Jackie. Do you know what I mean? This was kind of, and even for the people of Leash as well, I think the amount of people that I was talking to after that were saying they were so emotional in the crowds and when lovely Leash came on and all. But um, yeah, for myself personally, it was um, it was emotional. But, you know, it was just, it was amazing as well. And I'd love to relive back to that final whistle because I felt it went by so quick. Um, do you know it all just all the celebrations went by so quick and obviously we had to be off then the field for the seniors coming on and all but yeah if we could go back to that moment and bottle it up again it was, it was amazing yeah brilliant and Emer, you had to be enticed back did you into the fold 
Um, well, I kind of had maybe gone away for a couple of years. Um, I was deputising to Dolly um, for a few years and uh, Dolly is class, like, you know. Top so keeper, was, yeah. Yeah, um, I stepped away and I kind of just, maybe Leash Ladies have kind of maybe gone on a bit of a downward spiral for a few years and Donny got back involved and like Donny is held in such high regard in um, in Leash. You know, he um, it was very hard to say no to him when he when he gave me a call. So um, maybe the second time, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was it was yeah. I'm so glad I did it now, like because as Mo has said, like we have such a fantastic bond between the whole panel, like you know, and we are really like a family. Well, you'll crack on again next year, will you? Um, well, sure. If Donny <laughs> asked me back in, it'd probably be hard to say no now, you know. I said there's no fear of that, Mo. <laughs> oh, she'll be back. <laughs> well, good. There you, you've been told now, Emer. Um, and guys, the, the the individual nature of the awards. I mean, they were introduced last year by Zucar, who are our performance partner, who are also sponsors of the minor championships as well, and Gaelic for Teens sponsors as well. It's it's. I just think they're two lovely new elements to to bring into in, in, into the competitions. And Mo, were you aware towards the latter end of the championship that that you were in the shake up for it, or was it a case that you know this is a little external distraction? I just do my stuff in the field, and if that happens, it happens. Were you aware of it that that you had a chance? Yeah, well, I was aware of it, aware of it because I seen all right, but like I suppose you're just like. You just want to go out and perform no matter what you do on the pitch you just want to go out and perform and it's all about the team you know and I suppose after the semi-final coming into the final you're just like just need one more performance and thankfully it did pay off um from everyone I think all the leash players you know I mean they had a great first half and I suppose in the first half we went up by nine points we probably nearly should have went up by more because we missed a lot in the first half with a lot of chances going astray and then I suppose second half scoring was actually low for leash but um yeah look I, I suppose I was aware but at the end of the day it was just about getting a performance um no matter what you score on the pitch it's once you're working hard you know playing for the team that's what is instilled in us by Doni and every girl is the same goal at the end of the day you know and then Antrim and Fermanagh were playing in a junior replay and your yeah. nearest challenger Emer Smith yeah, uh, and to be fair to Emer, she really um she really stood up to it. Like, do you know what I mean? She's a fantastic footballer as well. And she had a great game even in that replay as well. They were just unlucky. They were playing a good Antrim side. But yeah, no, fantastic footballer as well. Brilliant. So Mo, how, what the day job? So you're you're based as a guard and now in Nace. Yeah. So how's so that going for you? Yeah, so far so good. Um I'm new to Nace. I'm only there since the start of the summer. So um, it's all new to me and a big change, I suppose. I would have never done shift work. Um, so that's all new, but um, so far so good. And they're brilliant to me up there as well in work. Like they're so good with trainings and matches and time off and all. So I can't complain. Um, a change, all right, but so far so good. I'm settling in well. Good. Best wishes with it. And we, we wish you well in the, in, in the role, Mo. And Emer, you're a school teacher down in, in Tipperary. Yeah, I'm down in Clamel in the home of football, I think, in, in Tipperary. So, yeah. Um, it's great. School is great. I'm in the high school there in the uh, CBS in Clamel, so staff are excellent and the the boys are very good as well. So how long have you been there, um, Emer? Um, I'm there six or seven years now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm there a good few years. I'm, I'm there now, probably so long you don't remember. You nearly become institutionalised when you when you go into a school. You're part of the furniture. Yeah, yeah. And could, do you commute up and down then, Emer? Yeah, I commute up and down. Um, just from Banlaykill in in Leash, so. It's about a 50, 55 minute commute. Okay. Um, yeah, so it gives me time to wake up in the morning, I suppose, de-stress in the evening, and then by the time I get home. So I'd say getting out for a bit of training is is good headspace too, Emer. Yeah, it is. It is. It's nice to have the, the bit of a break and, um, you know, to meet up with the girls. Like, I mean, training, that's, that's you know, after the All-Ireland, we were we were joking. We were saying, God, if they only said we'd be training Wednesday night, we, we would have nearly went because... <laughs> We have such a great bond, like, you know, and you, you go to train, you go to meet the girls and, you know, try and build up relationships and build up the team spirit, um, which which we have done. And looking ahead to 2023, folks, before I let you go, Emer, it's a, look, you're you're well aware of what lies in store in, in Leinster anyway with, with uh, Mead and Dublin and a promotion push, I'm sure, would be one of the one of the aims also. Yeah, look, we're under no illusions going up to play senior is going to be a serious test for us. But 
that's where we want to be. Um, last year, we got to the league semi-final um, in the Division 2 and Armagh gave us a lesson that day. We were, I was probably more disappointed with the Armagh game than I was Wexford in the Leinster semi-final. I just felt that we didn't perform at all. And um, look, we learned a lot of lessons that day. And uh, I think, yeah, we have to get to a, a league semi-final next year and try and push on. And we were competitive against Kerry probably in the first half. And then they pulled away then in the in the second half in the league game as well. So we know the pace that they're at and we just need to step up to it. Like, you know, we don't want to be yo-yoing back up and down from the senior to intermediate. We need to to make the step up now. Uh, Mo, would you echo those sentiments from Emer? Obviously, look, coming up from Division Three and to do so well in Division Two was 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 excellent in its own right. But as as Emer said, you know, you you come up against the Kerrys and the Armas, and you learn a lot about yourselves too, I guess. Yeah, like Jackie, we learned so much from that Division Two in the league this year. I know it was great in one sense. I think coming into the intermediate championship as well, getting to play against senior teams. But like Emer alluded to, you know, we're going to be under no illusion. You know, the likes of say the Kerrys and the Armas and Dublin and Meads, you know, they're they're another level. And like that in sport, if anyone wants to go and play at your best and be up at the top. So that's where we are now. And look, we're going to give it a shot. And I suppose it's all about getting back into pre-season. And, you know, like that, as you said, we will be under no illusions though. They're going to be, it's, you know, it's another step up again. And Mo, just before I let you go, and, and finally, on a final note, how has your exploits, you know, both individually and as a team, captured the, the, the local imagination of, of the Leash public in, in recent times? Like at Crow Park in July, there seemed to be a ferocious crowd up from Leash for, for, for the finals and good media coverage as well when we announced your awards during the week as well. How, how nice is that? Yeah, look, it is. It's lovely to get that recognition, Jackie. Um, do you know, and I think, I suppose... For football with Leash, I suppose the last couple of years, even if it's men's or women's, there hasn't been much, you know, for the people of Leash. But I really think this year a lot of people, you know, got behind us and, you know, we had great support even at the semi finals, you know, even the games in Leinster as well. We had some home games in the Moor Park and it's great to see so much support. But like that, the media in our own Leash as well is great for promoting and, you know, it's been great. And I think it's no more than the girls deserve and the effort you put in all year, you know. And I really think now it's nice when you're going around to the schools and to the clubs and you're seeing, or you've been, I was in at the local matches at the weekend, the men's games in the Moor Park and some young girls going around now in their Leash jerseys and things like that. And I was talking to a few parents and they were saying, some of their girls never picked up a ball and now they're going and they're going playing next year and all. So that's great to see you. Josh, it's all about the future as well. And, you know, if you can, you know, I suppose for them young girls now, they would see us as role models, you know, which is nice too. And it's a lovely feeling. Fantastic. Kick up the good work. Um, Lady, so uh, look, Mo and Emer, just to thank you for bouncing on today. Um, our Zoo Car Award winners, the Golden Boot winner, Mo Nerney, and the Golden Glove winner, Emer Barry. Ladies, thank you so much, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you. Lovely. Thanks a million, Jackie.